Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and I want to welcome you to the Parsons Bench Workshop. You know, one of the frustrating things that many of us encounter when we're out woodworking is misplacing things that we use all of the time, things like pencils and tape measures in particular. So one of the ways that I found a number of years ago to help with this is to wear a shop apron. And I have just found it uh, a tremendous benefit. Uh, it keeps things really close and convenient. Last year for Christmas uh, in 2020, the one thing I wanted and I got is this shop apron by Jonathan Katz Moses. I think it's well organized. It's very comfortable. It's got padded uh, shoulder straps and it's got uh, great support around the back and the shoulders to keep the straps in place. Uh, it's waxed canvas, so it holds up very good and I've been very pleased with it. But shop papers come in a lot of different fabrics designs purposes and makes and all that so you got to find what works for you but i want to share with you today what works for me the 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 items that i carry what makes up my everyday carry out in the uh wood shop so uh i hope you find this helpful and that it will encourage you in your own um woodworking experience and to maybe find some more organization and whatnot so right off the bat at the top is where i want to begin and it's just where i keep all of my marking items uh so i've got i usually carry a couple of magic markers uh red and black typically and uh, marking patterns and scroll saw or patterns and other things or making notes where i want to um if i'm changing some or whatnot these are very handy and convenient i also keep a couple of pencils the regular pencil is mainly when i'm i'm, I'm scratching or, or scribbling on the face of a board if i'm sanding it or getting ready to run it through the planer when i want to be sure to tell when i've gotten it flat uh that's helpful uh but the, what i use mainly for for marking is this little mechanical pencil that has a 0.5 millimeter lead very fine lead and it does great for marking purposes i uh, also keep uh, up here a, a pad uh, so i can keep notes of measurements or can kind of sketch out some small things if i need to um, and also there's this the scribe i don't use this a whole lot but i keep i still keep it up here because i've had this for gosh i don't know how long i uh, used to use it all the time uh, but now I mainly use that pencil. But it keeps it all right here at the top where it's very handy, very convenient. Uh, I'll always know where my marking devices are. Now, coming down from that on the left-hand side, and this is really one of the selling features for me on the Jonathan Katz Moses uh, shop apron, is this holster for this little uh, square. And uh, this is just a six-inch square, and it is so convenient to have there and this size is perfect for most of the projects i work on if i need a large one i can go to my drawer or, or somewhere to get the my foot long one or the others i have uh, but again just for most of things or a lot of things i do this is the perfect location the perfect size and i really like having it right there uh, at my fingertips if I come down um, the pocket kind of right be, below that, continuing in that whole measuring um, tool uh, thing is my um, tape measure. And I just keep a 16 inch tape measure. I think I used to have a 12 inch or 12 foot rather. And, um, but for Christmas, I bought myself this 16 foot. This is the fast cap lefty righty, which is really, really convenient when you're measuring. So no matter which side you're measuring from, you're always looking at the numbers right side up. Love that one. I've only used it a couple of times, but I'm really glad that I, I picked that up. And again, it's right there in my right left hand side. I know exactly where it is. Uh, coming on down, uh, this, far left hand pocket at the bottom i just keep a couple of kind of old sanding um, pads from my sander uh so if i need just a kind of a quick little sand uh they're right there and i can do that kind of the two main things i keep down there though are my utility knife so if i need to cut into something or, or kind of scrape on something i got that and then but there's this little um screwdriver and it's one of those where there's kind of a large side and a small side though they're all small on this one um, but larger and smaller side and you can do flathead or, or um, phillips i picked this up i think at walmart it wasn't very much you're not going to do a whole lot of screwing in of things but you tell you where i really use this is on my table saw changing out the throat plate because if i need to if i want to put in the the data stack uh, throat plate or the uh, zero clearance throat plate or the red what it doesn't matter I don't want to have to go over to my toolbox and dig through to find my screwdriver coming over. So I keep this one right there. Very handy, very convenient, and it is the perfect size for what that is. Uh, this front little pocket is very underutilized. All I keep in there is a 
eraser. Uh, if you need to erase a mark, uh, the little erasers on pencils either are non-existent or they don't work, so that one comes in handy. This top one, uh, not a lot in there, just a flat carpenter pencil. Again, I use it to scribble on the face of a board before I sand or plane it. Uh, then I keep this push stick. And this kind of push stick, I know a lot of folks hate. I've, I've been a lot of videos I've seen lately. People have really been talking about them and the danger of them. I'm not getting into that. But where I really use this, because I have a push block I use, is but to be able to, I know exactly where it is to have it in my left hand if I need to support a board going through my table saw uh, from the left side on, on the side. And so that's why I picked that up, and it's great to have right there. Uh, I, Jonathan Katz Moses keeps his marking knife there. I don't have or use a marking knife, but I have my glue brush, and so it's right there when I get ready to do a glue up. I know exactly where it is, and it's con very conveniently located. Right next to that, I have a, a, a guide for drill bit sizing and or screw sizing, and, you know, to find out what I want. Again, the whole recurring theme of this is convenience and I know exactly where it is. The one thing that I get used that I use a lot is this little set of calipers. Um, I do hope soon to update this to a, a set of uh, digital calipers but these do exactly what I need uh, particularly if I'm milling up some boards in the planer, uh, multiple boards I want to be sure they're all the same size then uh, thickness then they're right there. The front pocket here uh, there's some small items most don't get used a lot I have a a nail set, uh, get, if I am needing to set nails, it's great to have it right there at my fingertips. There's a center punch if I'm trying to mark some holes for drilling, uh, very convenient. I do keep a, uh, a, I don't know what you call it, a paint can key to open up a paint can. And this would be very convenient if I would ever remember that it's there. I never remember it, so I always go to uh, the drawer where I keep the others, uh, though in theory this is very convenient. I just can't remember it. I'm not real sure why I keep it there. The other thing I do keep that I actually use a fair amount is just a small little owl. And um, uh, again, marking places uh, for the drill. Uh, if, if I don't want such a big mark like the, the punch is going to do, this is great. I can mark it so I can get my drill bit right where I want to go. I do keep a six inch a little torpedo level. That's very handy and convenient. Uh, doesn't get used on a whole lot of projects necessarily, but when you need one, it's nice to have it right there at hand and not have to go searching for it. I think one of the things I was really excited about, right after I got this apron, I went online and I found this um, foldable flush cut saw. Now, I use this a good bit, but I don't use this if I have a lot of things I need to cut flush. I'm going to go get my bigger saw, regular flush cut saw. But when you got a, just you know, two, three, four little things you need to cut flush, this has been great. I'm so excited about it. I know that sounds kind of geeky, but uh, I, I like this one, and uh, it's been a great addition. Now, on this particular apron, uh, they did put two hammer loops. I don't carry a hammer out in the shop, so I use one for just a little rag or a piece of a t-shirt to wipe up, whether it's stain or finish or glue, keep my hands kind of clean. Uh, and again, it's right there handy. The one thing I tell you that I use more than I thought I would, it's just hard to get off, is a little flashlight. And particularly when I'm adjusting tools, my uh, Bandsaw in particular, when I need to adjust the lower blade guides on that, gosh, it is so dark in there. And so this comes in very handy. And, uh, you know, again, it's one of those things that there's a lot of uses I find that I need it that I never would have thought. And so I'm, uh, I keep this on here. I got that from an idea of watching someone else go through what their uh, everyday care in their shop apron was. But so glad because it's very handy. So that's my everyday carry in my shop. And uh, it really does make my life a little bit easier, a little more organized while I'm out here. You may or may not use a shop apron. I would at least encourage you to think about it because it does make things uh, very convenient and not misplacing things. Uh, and it does kind of evolve what I keep in it. I've had more things in there. I've taken them out uh, just because I find I don't use them. Or if I find that I am using something more, I'll pick it up and, and put it in there because that's what it's for. Well, look, I want to thank you for uh, joining me in this video. If you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. If you uh, hit like also, that'd be nice and help me out on this. And I look forward to seeing you uh, the next time.